Hey guys, this is a new level I've been working on, and I just finished uploading it. It's called Race to the Finish. Um, it's got five different sections and uses a gimmick I've always liked, hitting a P-switch and racing somewhere. Here in this first section, you can see the goal is right here. And we're going to go hit some P-switches and run back. So of course it's got some precision and some conveyors, because those are always fun. I guess spikes are a gimmick in their own right. Um, so here you can see the first P switch. Some lightly tight platforming, and then this spring thing. I've <laughs> always found it amusing that every time I've used horizontal springs, it seems people just want to avoid them. Probably for good reason. But I think it feels pretty good to bounce all the way around there. And now the P-switch, so we just have to run back the way that we came. Here, the bottom is open, so we don't actually have to do the bounce thing. This first room, these timers are pretty nice. The conveyors don't go while the switch is on. I think that makes a good warm-up. All right, these rooms, I think, escalate in how intense they are. Run over these gaps, kind of took that from some of the Star Fox level stuff. Just blocks and spikes. Nothing more here. And death. I guess there's still death. A little more running over the gaps. And like before. Finding two switches. Hit the timer. This one is a bit tighter. Out of this spring, so you can just not think about running into the pipe. First, I thought the spring might be mean, but then it ended up being helpful. Alright, this room added on off switches. It actually, the gimmick isn't quite the same here. There's a P switch, but only at the end. Get that switch, go between the piranhas. Maybe looks a little scary, but not really at all. Got one enemy that actually does something here. With a pretty tight jump up, at least uh, one you gotta think a little bit about. And here is the P switch. And the goal is right below. Probably helps to, it might be hard to know where to run here the first time. Alright, this one is kind of the crazy room, so if I just zoom out here, what I first wanted to do was make a figure eight and maybe have you go around once and then the second time have the switches, and then I decided that was just too long. <laughs> and so there's just the several P-switch timed sections. So this middle part, which was first gonna be something you pass through more than once, I um, feel like it's kind of a little bit blind coming down, but that's just kind of a result of how it turned out. All right, got some moving platforms here, which are kind of against racing because you have to wait on them but i don't think this timer is very tight this switch was in case the switch was different in another room but it shouldn't ever be that way these jumps kind of freak me out a little bit so this potabo almost always is out of line like that but i've if you wait for him, there should still be enough time, but I'm sure there won't be. So, not the most happy about that. This this switch here is the tightest timer that there is. So these potabos go around in a circle, and you have to basically follow them. It took a while to get the switches so that that made sense. That's actually pushing it. Wow, I actually didn't get it. 
I, was, I found myself just like leaping straight up here, but I maybe wish this timer wasn't so tight. All right. There's a second moving platform thing, which I'm not the most happy with because you have to somehow keep yourself from going fast. Probably could have taken that out. And this last one, I think, is not bad. But that is the long room. But this room kind of puts some stuff together and does it differently. This is one P switch. So this starts with a, what was a tricky jump ahead on another level, but this is gonna make use of it. So you get an opportunity to look through here before hitting the switch and running, but it's gonna be one nine second timer to bounce off all that stuff, go up, grab that coin, slowing down a little bit. And it's a little, I guess rude might be a word. You have to stop here to be able to do that jump again and then make it back around. How about I do it? I think this honestly just feels freaking great, but it'll probably take a little bit to build up the feel of that. But I think nailing that is an exciting end. Of course, just the Last key door. And uh, one up room at the end. So this room is made for a race and I will be, won't be uploading this until after that's done, but I just uploaded it. So I'm excited to see how that shakes out. Um, I'll link I'll link to the two Twitch channels in the description who are planning to do that. Um, but if you like this style of video walking through thoughts on building levels, then I may do some more. But I will leave you with the clear check video. Thanks for watching. Yeah. <laughs>